Hello, this is one of the time we've been waiting for, where we can use CSS to make our site look more reasonable and more catching to the user. As it is right now, there's no style to it and it looks sort of like weird to other websites. Let's see how we can transform the site or this page to something that our users will love. For us to do that, we need to do a bit of restructuring here. As it is, we have the asset file or asset folder that carries our CSS file. And we already have the CSS style of CSS. If you remember that we used to display our Google icons. Let's see how we can restructure this a bit. So I'm just going to title this icons. Let's just try to rename it. We're going to say icons. The CSS, so we want it to carry the name that is more understandable. So we're going to update our CSS, which is here. Let's duplicate this. So we want this to be icons.css. This will still carry the actual icons. But what we want to do is to create another style.css where we're going to declare all our styles. So we can just say style.css and then means that we have new CSS file. Let's go ahead to close this one. Once we have this, what we need to do right now is to start our styling. But even before we move further, this is Times New Room and it's more like not a font that is going to help our project. Let's quickly go to Google Fonts and see the kind of fonts that we can use. I'm just going to say fonts at google.com. I love to use it's called Nunito. Yep, that's very fun. Family. Okay, so let's try to select all the family so that we can have all the bold options. I'm just going to select all of them. Once I have all of them selected, I can just copy the link and embed it to the project header let's just have it before the style let's have it before our styles now nothing is happening yet okay that's basically because we are yet to use it now let's call our global selector we want to call box sizing I want to use border box. So this will help our padding and margin when we get to that point. The next is let's call the font family. So let's just copy the font family here and just paste it. If we save it, you can see that now we have a clean font attached to our project. Now the browser attached default margin for us. Let's see how we can get rid of that. We're just going to target the body and we're going to say margin of zero pixel then this should remove all the default margin then we want background background color of at least size at least blue Okay, let's look at our design so that you can see that we're just trying to achieve something similar to what we have. Okay, so let's add margin or padding by ourselves. Let's see the class that we can use to do that. Let's target this dashboard and just let's add padding manually. I'll call it dashboard. We just want to give padding zero pixel top and bottom then we want 15 pixel 
left and right. You can see that we have that, which is cool. So let's just say margin top and bottom zero. Then we want auto left and right. So this will make it fall in between, which is cool. So we just want the space for it to share the space left and right. All right, so now we are set in making all our declarations. And what we are going to do next is adding style to our navigation. So this navigation and the logo is going to look a bit better from what we have right now. Remember, what we are trying to do is to design for the mobile. So we're using the mobile first approach. Once we are done with the mobile version, then we can then scale to other big screen sizes. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. If you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on all our social media and do so that you'll be notified each time we release a new tip. Until next time, I'll see you in the next one.